a cape. They cut it so fine that one can actually say it lasts longer. <laughs> so it's a Duracell fake. And of course you came from Street Fever yesterday. You rocked up at the airport. And then a lot of people ask me like the name. Yes. Young Stacy Beauty. Yes. Where did that name come from? Well, to keep it short and sweet, I'll say that I was always the young kid around the older crowd. So I just kept being like labeled as the baby or like yeah. the, the kid or the, the lighty basically. So I kept that. Um, I was too lazy to think of another name to be honest with you. But I did add in CPT just to have the, the, the recognition of my city as well in my name. So if you speak about Youngster, you speak about Cape Town. And of course you've got global influence as well. We've seen your Instagram live with some of the teams from America and whatever. Sure, yeah. so then my other question is like, the question is, you got a release with Shane Eagle. Come on now, called Ammo. I will. Ammo, Ammo, Ammo. Shane Eagle is on that. And then I want to ask you, any more projects that we can get hold of? Well, I'll leak it to you first. The man upstairs right now making all this harass. <laughs> Earl Swartz. I've got something with him. Okay. I had to. I had to do it. So then we got it. We got it. We got a collaboration. We got coming. a collaboration. Myself and Early B is coming soon. Uh, we've been working on a music video as well while I've been here in PE. So very very excited. And I wanted to do it tonight, but I thought it's too early. It's too early, B, <laughs> for this moment. So yeah, it's coming soon, guys. Check it out. And then I wanted to ask you: Did music and rapping find you, or did you all pursue it growing up? I'll say that it was it was a mutual relationship. It found me, and I loved it when it found me, so I embraced it. There's some people that find their callings and ignore it. They don't actually pursue it. They don't take it seriously. They think it can't work, so they end up rejecting it. Whereas me, I heard the calling. I tried to deny it. I tried to swipe the other way. I tried to decline my calling, but it didn't actually happen. It called me the more I tried to put the phone down. So... The more my calling call, the more I listen. Yes. And I think that's something very important. Also, a lot of people don't do that. So I would say that this was something that found me, but it's also something that I made time for getting better at. So you met it halfway, basically. And that's what you got to do. At least we can say that you tried. Yes. That's half the battle won. And then exactly, now get to this point, the guys that look up to you and pursue to be like young to sleep with me, for what sure. do you have to say to them? Number one, learn from my mistakes. I'll teach you two things in life, what to do and what not to do. And thirdly, I'll say perseverance. Fourth, I'll say faith. And fifth, I will say teamwork. Find yourself dedicated individuals who can assist in bringing your dream to life. An artist is only as good as a team behind it. So on that note, I'd like to shout out YGen. I'd like to shout out Street Fever as well. Shout out Early B. Shout out the masses of the Bay who are supporting us making us known out there globally, letting the men say in the rest of the continent and world know that also brain men say this to say, and we're going to say it one way or another, whether you silence us or whether you give us a stage. And if you don't give us a stage, we'll build our own one. And of course, where can we find your Instagram, Twitter, your Facebook, Youngster CPT, everywhere. Google me, goddammit. <laughs> Google me. Thank you so much. You're the only interview that ever got that right from me. <laughs> Thank you so much.